Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. This is a reading for the collective. Let's see what messages want to come through today in Pathfinders. We're going to talk about Claire cognizance and Claire sentience. Can they be learned? Um, this is something we've been talking about for a couple of weeks. We took we took on Claire audience and clairvoyance the first two weeks, but today I want to address those last two because those feel to me like most people think that they can't be learned, but they can. All right, let's see where we're going. Let's see what's going on for you today. I'm putting up these September readings as we speak. There's a lot of powerful energy in September, especially this weekend on the first and second. We have a new moon on the second in Virgo. And on the first, we have uh, Uranus going retrograde in Taurus. So it's bouncing back into Taurus. It's at 27 degrees right now. Um, and it's going to be in retrograde for a few months, I believe four months. Saturn's in retrograde. We've got Capricorn popping into um, a, uh, into Capricorn again this weekend. So with all of that going on, expect a lot. All right. Expect a lot of, of interchange. Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus all in retrograde, plus Saturn's in retrograde. So all of the outer planets are in retrograde. Plus we have Saturn, which is a malefic planet, which is known as, you know, the planet of your lessons uh, in retrograde already. We will have Mars retrograde later this year and Jupiter. So this Mars only goes retrograde every couple of years. So this is a big fall, this last four months of the year. I'm going to be really doing a lot of forecasting around that. So stay tuned. Okay. If you haven't, Subscribe, please do, so you don't you catch all the latest videos. Navigating by the stars. <laughs> Isn't that what I was just talking about? <laughs> Stepping into power. That's definitely what I'm talking about. You are strong beyond measures. Ah, impasse and discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. So um, some of you are dealing with situations in your life where as soon as you kind of step into your truth and step into your power, people don't like it. And people don't like it, not because they don't like you or because they, it's just that they're not used to it, okay? If you have been somebody who hasn't really uh, built a brand for your life around being in your power and all of a sudden you're stepping into it, then um, beware of the people who don't like it. Because that tells you that they liked you when you were not powerful, which means they probably got something that maybe you may still want to be in that relationship with that person, but maybe not, right? It may be something that you're like, oh, wow, I didn't realize that this person was um, kind of liking it when I was not feeling good or liking it when I wasn't uh, powerful or liking it better when I was weaker. Hmm, that doesn't feel very good. Um, real friends, real colleagues, uh, good bosses, uh, lift you up. They don't want to see you struggling or anything like that. So just be FY, just FYI about that. And I almost feel like some of you are getting stronger because there is some kind of, um, energy coming soon. That's going to require you to be powerful. So you might wonder why, all of a sudden, all of these challenges around us stepping into our power and, uh, you know, why all of a sudden are all the messages about, you know, about this one particular thing. In the middle of September, we have uh, eclipse season starts and um, we have a full moon eclipse in Pisces, 25 degrees Pisces. So what does that mean? It means that there's an activation energy. Eclipses are activation energy in our spiritual sector. That's Pisces. Pisces is a little hard to put your arms around. It's very, it's very much the connection to the divine. Each person can experience Pisces differently. Okay. And so, you know, especially, um, you know, Cap we have Capricorn, we have that Pluto and Capricorn, we have Uranus and Taurus, especially the earth energies are not super happy with this kind of like, I can't put my arms around it thing. So there may be a need for you to step into power because there's a leadership position that you need to um, take hold of or start up. It doesn't need to, it's, I'm not really talking about a job or a career path. I'm really just talking about being 
an energy that other people look to as a way of them stepping into their power. Okay. Five of, five of swords. Oh yeah. Some of you do have people around you who are not going to be super psyched with your new found power. Knight of wands, three of cups, nine of wands. Oh yeah. And the five of wands. This is a little bit of, um, fair weather friends or not really frenemies, but I don't know that five of swords. Eh. I, I get the feeling that you have been through this before. So some of you could have had about with, I was talking about this, this weekend about a mean girl thing, mean girl energy happening in high school or college. Some of you could have dealt with some frenemies, um, in the past and they were really just all about themselves. It wasn't as much that they wanted you to be weak is that they were trying, they thought that if you were weaker, they'd look stronger. Okay. So some of you may have been, may have been the target of those kind of friends or those kinds of acquaintances. Even doesn't even really have to be friends. Three of pentacles. Strength. I like that. Eight of pentacles. Some of you are really stepping into your power as it relates to financial abundance and gain. Um, I saw that in a few of the readings so far that there was going to be a lot of um, abundance coming in. And actually this, if, if that's the storyline that is um, aligning with you, then you may need to put up some boundaries with people um, that you may never have had before. It's kind of weird. It's like, if you didn't have a lot of resources, let's just call them resources. Okay. It doesn't have to be money. It can be access to power. It can be power in yourself. It can be, you know, you have a big following, um, or something like that. Um, and other people wanting to kind of catch a ride on that energy. If you've not had this before and all of a sudden this is sort of opening up to you and you kind of get some people around you that, I feel like there's an agenda here, but the good news, <clears throat> the good news is, you know, it, this is not something that you're going to be unclear about. Okay. Seven of wands. Look at this again. We're putting up boundaries. We're putting up boundaries. King of pentacles. Wow. Some of you are stepping into some kind of financial abundance. Empress. Beautiful energy here. The Knight of Cups could have all of a sudden <coughs> could have some kind of romantic connection. Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups that I feel is being a little bit disingenuous. Okay. It's sort of like this person in the past may have been, you know, sort of a friends with benefits thing or somebody who, who didn't really, who was shying away from some kind of commitment with you, but look at all of a sudden, here's the Knight of Cups and then the Knight of Cups again in this strength card. You're the one that's powerful. Look at you building something here. Three of Pentacles, eight of Pentacles. Some of you are building a business, building a following I'm getting. And seven of wands, there has to be some kind of boundary that you're not used to. I feel like you're stepping into being the King of Pentacles. Some of you could be attracting the King of Pentacles. This person, there is somebody, okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You're attracting in all different kinds of people. Some of them are going to be very beneficial and supportive of you. And some of them are not. I'm surprised the Ace of Swords isn't in here. But at first, there may be a tendency to like take all comers, right? Like the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Like, oh, well, this person just needs, you know, needs my attention. This person, you know, um, you know, all of a sudden we've got a lot of friends or a lot of people to hang out with or there's new people in my life all of a sudden. And you may feel a little overwhelmed by this. What is this? Um, abundance that's flowing in here. Okay. Okay. Come here, you. Ugh. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. 
uh, you've put in a lot of time and effort. Okay. This is not, this is, this is, what is it? Steve Jobs used to say like an overnight success takes five years kind of a thing. Uh, other people may think it's like an overnight success, but you know that you've invested a lot of time and effort. You've put a lot of diligent, you know, your diligence, you've done the work. King of Pentacles here. This is Capricorn energy. You've done the work. And so where is that, where is that <clears throat> transiting Pluto? Where is Capricorn in your chart? Because that is where Pluto is moving. It's dropped it to 29 degrees Capricorn. If you have anything at um, the angles, meaning the cardinal signs, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, or Libra, if you have anything at 29 degrees of a cardinal sign, that is really going to be activated, okay, with this movement on the 1st of September of Pluto back into Capricorn. And Capricorn is kind of like, have you done things, because it's ruled by Saturn, have you done things by the book? Have you put in the time and effort? Yes, you have. It doesn't mean that let's, okay, so I'm going to make a distinction here. You might have put in a lot of time and effort in your healing. You might have put a lot of time and effort in your um, ability to see people more clearly and manage your trust, manage your trust issues, whatever they are. I trust everybody or I trust no one. Either, you know, either of those extremes, I feel like you're kind of working on that. Some of you are really healing old patterns and Saturn is going to validate that. So Saturn isn't all bad, right? Saturn, when Saturn, like it's sort of like the teacher coming back from leave or coming back from vacation or coming back from wherever they're coming back from. Maybe they had a baby, something like that. And you have kind of stepped into, you know, being in charge of the class, or you've kind of stepped into being someone who made sure that the sub got respect or got, you know, support or something like that so that the lessons could keep going. There's a lot, there's some kind of gifty here. Whenever you do the path of Saturn, whenever you are, if and Saturn's in retrograde right now in Pisces, so don't get confused. Pluto is moving into Capricorn, ruled by Saturn. And then there's a separate planet. Saturn is also transiting. Saturn's transiting in Pisces. This is making me feel like you have done the work because of this, this Knight of Pentacles and this Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is very trustworthy energy. It's Virgo energy. Seven of Pentacles. I invest <clears throat> my time and energy. Sorry. I invest my time and energy And there's a one, there's one more pattern here, this pattern, 10 of wands and seven of cups. So there's one, one thing left before Saturn bestows this gifty. There's one thing left. What is that? There's one test left. Codependence, lack of clarity not stepping into your power. What, I mean, what is it in like one sector? Maybe you stepped into power in all the other sectors of your life. There's one left. That's what's being asked of you here. There's one sector left. World, two of pentacles, fool. I keep seeing the world and the fool together. Ace of wands. Whatever it is for you, there's one sector left. And I feel like you're going back and forth between the ending and a new beginning. You keep stopping things and saying, okay, this is it for me. I'm stepping into a new beginning. And then you go back. You keep going back. You keep going back. Okay. And it's time for it to be over. Ace of wands. We have the 10 of wands here. Like, it's almost like you're not seeing it. It's almost like you're not seeing it which part of your life you keep going back to, you keep going back to. And it's like Lucy with the football because there's something new that wants to come in, this ace of wands. For some of you, this could be a love relationship. For some of you, this could be dealing with money. For some of you, it could be dealing with debt and credit and investments, not just having money, not just having enough money, but what do you do with it? Because 
three of pentacles and eight of pentacles says to me that you, and seven of pentacles says you are learning or have learned to invest your time and energy and finances wisely. King of pentacles being here. So what is it? Is it love that's keeping you? Is it, it could just be the trust of people being learning how to trust people. There is one more test. One more test. All right. So let me, let me clarify this King of Pentacles here because I do feel like there's financial abundance. There's a lot of Pentacles in this reading. So, and that could be the gifty from Saturn. You know, it doesn't have to be in that same part of your life. Usually it is. Usually when Saturn bestows a gifty for job well done, it's a direct, it's a direct connection. All right. It's a direct connection. But let me see what this King of Pentacles is. Five of Cups, Emperor. Oh, Two of Swords, Four of Cups. You have not wanted to step into power. There, This is the one test. You have not wanted to step into power because Emperor and Empress, this is an upgrade. <laughs> King of Pentacles is getting an upgrade to Emperor. So you may be King energy, but because what makes an emperor, uh, the emperor is all the kings, right? The emperor is all the kings. So I feel like there's been loss, real loss. Like you let something go, even though you didn't want to, instead of stepping back into it, right? There's been real loss. Here's the emperor. This is what we're upgrading to. There's been internal growth, right? Stepping into power. And there's been... Um, the seven of wands, I kind of like this right now because this makes me feel like you did not settle. You didn't settle. And that's exactly what Saturn is going to give you a gifty about. That's what you're going to get um, knighted for, or that's what you're going to get your um, elevation here for, from. You're going to get promoted here into full emperor. And then we have the empress here. You've done your work. All right, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. I'm going to look at what you don't see coming. Let's look at the next 30 days. And uh, you've earned it. Okay, you've earned it. Link is below if you want to continue on. Pathfinders, let's just keep going. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.